Hello brothers, my name is the Dwarf Bass and today I am excited to show you guys the brand new season in Clash Royale Season 7 Lunar Festival. So I hope that you guys are enjoying this season as much as I am so far and uh, I hope it continues to be a good season for you. So um, I'm going to show you guys some replays of the Firecracker Draft Challenge that is now available for you to play. So go ahead and go play that challenge because... As frustrating as draft mode can be, uh, I've had some uh, horrible times with it, <laughs> but I'm not going to lie. But, you know, maybe you guys will have better luck than I did um, whenever you play in the challenge. Now, of course, I am going to be reading off the release notes like I always do for these videos, so I will make sure to leave a link to the release notes in the description below so you guys can go and check that out for yourselves as well. Now, let's get started with this video. It is Season 7 Lunar Festival. We're going to start off this new year, 2020, with a bang. So, we are going to be able to play with the new Firecracker card that is released in the game. And we are also going to discover a new are arena that is hidden amidst the clouds. So, um, of course, like there always is with the season, you have the Pass Royale. Um, we have the exclusive Season 7 Lunar Lantern skin and the exclusive Firecracker emote that you will be able to win. Of course, the Tower skin you'll be able to earn at Tier 10 and the Firecracker emote you will earn at Tier 20. Now, you're going to have 35 Pass Royale reward tiers as well as the 35 crown chests for the entire season. Uh, for those free to play players and there's also going to be a bonus bank available so we have all the good stuff from past seasons <clears throat> that are coming back into season seven as well so uh, let's talk about the new card in the game that is called the firecracker now the firecracker enters the arena for the very first time um, this new common card costs three elixir the firecracker shoots a firework that explodes upon impact damaging the target and showering anything directly behind it with its sparks this is what happens when archers get bored now um yeah I guess I could agree uh, archers can be a little boring you know a, a little bow and arrow and eh, it's just it's just not that much you know but uh, I love explosions and I like when things go boom so, of course, the Firecracker is the perfect representation of that. So, I will, um, at the end of the, or towards the end of the video, um, I will put the timestamp here so you guys can uh, go see it if you want to skip to it. But, I will explain the Firecracker in better detail and we'll look at the stats together and all that fun stuff. Now, here is how to unlock her. You're going to have the challenges which the firecracker will be able to unlock as a reward and special challenges throughout the entire season so i don't know exactly the amount of number of challenges that there's going to be for the firecracker but it's going to be throughout the season so just make sure whenever it pops up just check in check in and try to get that firecracker for yourself now the trophy road the firecracker will be a trophy road trophy road reward at 5150 and 6450 trophies so it's very similar to how the battle healer was last season that's how the firecracker is going to be for this season so 5150 i believe that's like master league and then 6450 is the champions so just if you're in legendary arena make sure to push this season so you guys can get the firecracker rewards there on the trophy road now of course the shop we're going to keep our eyes out for a special firecracker chest in the shop. So on here it says chests. So I'm assuming there's going to be multiple that come throughout the season just like challenges. So make sure to keep your eye out for it um, and get some firecrackers if you happen to have the gems or the money. Now um, card level boost. Of course the, level, the card level boost will be returning for this season as well as it was um, in season 6. You will be able to get the firecracker boosted to your king level. So as soon as you unlock it, if you are a max player, then your firecracker will be at max level for the entirety of the season. So that is really, really cool. I like that. And with <laughs> now I'm, I'm going to talk about this a little bit with the battle healer last season. 
I didn't really take advantage of this just because I just I didn't really feel like testing her out in decks. I was like, eh, I don't know what to do with this card. It's interesting, but I don't know what to do. I'm not good with it. But um, with this card, I really, really love this card. I think I like this card more than I do the Battle Healer. I just, I don't know. It's, I probably shouldn't say that just because, you know, the Battle Healer um, does heal. But, you know, I like this card. It's really fun. Um, <laughs> but, uh, anyways, that's just, that's just me. But anyways, if you have the card level boost um, in your to your King Tower, and your King Tower is a pretty high level, make sure to take advantage of that. Test her out in decks if you can. Try to find a deck that works for you. Take advantage of it. Don't be like me and just let it go to waste because, you know, I'm just a very lazy person, as you guys can tell with my uploads <laughs> on this channel. But anyway, uh, all right, so enough talking about me. Uh, let's talk about the new arena, which, as you can tell right here in this replay, it is a very beautiful arena. It is still snowy because, of course, this is January, so we're going to have some snow falling around still. And uh, you've got the, of course, the balloons floating all along the arena. It looks really, really cool. I love this arena. It's beautiful. And uh, this arena is called Serenity Peak is the name of this arena. So it is hidden amongst the clouds. Serenity Peak has a hard time living up to its name since it became the latest battleground. So, uh, oof. <laughs> it's kind of ironic, but you know, we're, we're not gonna worry about it. But um, of course, the balance changes, I will be making a separate video for the balance changes. Um, of course, that'll be later on and I will make sure to link that in the description below for this video and of course you can go check that out um so i will talk about that in more detail when that video comes out now for emotes there will be lunar festival emotes that are going to pop out and be all in the shop throughout season seven and you can get them in the shop and you can get them in challenges so make sure that you take advantage of whenever those times arise and get you some emotes so um that's pretty much it for this video i don't know what else to talk about <laughs> for all oh, that's all the release notes at least but uh i guess i can try to commentate a little bit here uh i, I mean commentating's not my thing but i need to get better at it uh for future plans but uh anyways <laughs> we have entered double elixir i've got a magic archer coming the minor ghost of the tower stopped by a lumberjack so uh, that's all fun I throw a poison there to try to damage that. There's a giant coming. I throw the firecracker. Now the firecracker you see, it shoots, it hits its initial target, and then it spreads out. So it's kind of like it's kind of like the hunter projectile. It's kind of similar to it. As I, I think that's where they got the inspiration for that spread shot is from the hunter. And also they um, they also said in the video in the TV Royale video that it's very similar to Penny, and that's where they really got that inspiration from, was from Penny from Brawl Stars. So if you guys want to, I will link that video in the description below so you guys can watch that yourselves. <clears throat> and uh, anyways, uh, here comes this giant with this musketeer. I try to stop it the best I can. I had to throw a miner with it as well. But I did stop it. My tower is at 1397, and his is at 751. It is overtime, so I got to be a little careful here. I've got a skeleton barrel and a ice golem coming for the tower. I poison the tower as well. Try to get those skeletons on there. I get it down to about 140 or 120. Oh no, no, no! There goes the miner, and boom! There we go. That's how you play that deck, that crazy deck. I don't know. I don't even know what it was. But uh, anyways. I hope that you guys have better luck in the draft challenge as I better than I did. I hope that you guys can just go coast right through there. But uh, anyways, let me show you guys the firecracker stats as I promised earlier. So you're going to see she shoots, it hits its initial target, and then it spreads out. So, And she also flies back about two tiles, I believe, is how far she flies back. Now, of course, the bandit is going to kill her with one dash so be very careful 
Um, if you're going to play it as a reactive card to a bandit, it's not a good reactive card for the bandit. Now, um, this is level 7. Let me... Ch or is it... Okay, I'm showing challenge levels now. Okay, so the challenge stats for this card is at 252 hit points. So that's her health at tournament standard. She has, of course, that ranged damage is 53 times 5. So her initial hit or her initial attack will strike the first target and will deal a bit of damage and then it'll spread out and do 53 damage to other units. Um, her hit speed is 3 seconds, so it is a little slow, but she is a sturdy unit, or she is a, you know, a fun little unit. Uh, she targets air and ground, so that's really good. <clears throat> Sorry. Her speed is fast, so she's going to be able to move as fast as a, uh, as a goblin brawler, so she'll be moving pretty quickly. And uh, her range is six tiles, so she has a pretty decent range. So, when I was thinking about this card, it's kind of like a like a really ranged bomber. <laughs> I, that's what I think. It's like a ranged bomber that has some, you know, it does similar. It has similar, you know, similarities with the bomber as it is an explosive and it's splash damage, but it's able to shoot air and it has better range. So, I think the Firecracker could honestly um, replace Bomber in certain decks, I believe. But, we'll see how she's used in other attacks, or in other replays. And, of course, there is the description for her. And, uh, of course, the artwork there at the very top. Now, of course, I have that card boost. It is boosted to level 13 for the entire season. So, that's really good for me. Uh, so, like I said, take advantage of that card boost. If you guys need that now um of course if you guys need a clan try to come on by fisticuffs uh, we are currently full at the moment but uh, we recently did a war and we got first place so that's really good for us but uh, if you guys need like a kind of relaxed clan just come on by if you like doing war and if you like donating and getting donations this is the perfect clan for you so come on by fisticuffs whenever we have an opening but of course that is all i have for this video i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to slap the like button comment down below what videos you want me to do next and uh of course look at this beautiful trophy road right here i'm going to show you um i believe i passed it already um right here you're going to be able to get 250 of those at 5150 and I'm pretty sure at 6450 it is the same amount no it's 750 at 6450 trophies so definitely take advantage if you can get there anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you go subscribe to PewDiePie because he is a wonderful person I am the Dwarf Bass and I will see you guys next time